Okay, moving on to the lower saucer. Um, I cleaned it off. I got the dust and the debris off. And again, it's already painted, so I don't have to worry about that. The inside has been uh, chromed. And he circuit, uh, excuse me, he hot glued the circuit board into place. Now, one of the things that I was wondering is all the other pieces that I guess he intended to keep the original color he put aside and the bottom of the sensor dome um, he left it this color um, sometimes he likes to do things differently as we all do to put our own spin like what I did on mine was I put all these rings copper on my 1350 and I thought it came out looking pretty cool but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it the way he wanted it so if he masked this off for a reason um, it's probably because he wanted to keep this the original color. So I'm not going to change it. I'm going to keep it the original color. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start putting in all the windows. Alright, so I got the lower saucer section windows all glued into place. Um, I had to move the circuit board a little bit. I'll re-glue it because the piece goes underneath. You can see it goes all the way to the back. So I just had to pop it up a little bit and I'll just re-glue it into place. So now I can move on to the outside windows. Okay, so I got all the windows in and I put the running lights on the bottom. So those are in. You can see I also put in the, uh, the impulse engine. And again, this was, he left this specifically aside from the rest of the ship, so I'm thinking he wanted it a different color, because um, you can see you know, it's a different color there, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. And windows and all that part is done for the lower saucer section. He had already put in the dish, uh, excuse me, the dome, the sensor dome. So what I'm going to do, uh, go ahead now is I'm going to start uh, moving on. We'll move on to the next step. We can start wiring and gluing. Alright, so I wanted to check it um, after I hot glued everything into place and it's a good thing I did because one of the M's um, was not working. You can see this is the one from the kit itself. And this one wasn't working. No matter what I did, I tried replacing the bulbs with my regular LEDs and it wouldn't work with the circuit board. I had this light um, extra from my other kit, the one that I had done the kit, um, my 1350 Enterprise. So I put it on and it's working. So the beacons are gonna be lit up. And when it comes to the LED tape, you could see the um, the one in the middle has changed. I had to change it out and put mine in because that one was bad and that the end one wasn't lighting up. So, as of right now, everything in the upper saucer section lights up. All we got to do now is put the bridge in 
and hook up the lights into the circuit board for the bridge. All right, so we're ready to move on. We're gonna wire the bottom half of the saucer section. And I need to get everything organized and I'll show you what it's gonna look like that's, a, well, when it's ready to be wired. All right, when it comes to the bottom part, um, there's a lot of the wires missing from the lighting kit and a lot of the lighting strips are missing too. So I had to improvise. Um, let's see. D, the D's are gone, there's no more C's, the H on all the connectors. So what I had to do was I had to take my own LED tape and solder the leads and um, follow it along to all five lighting spots. So this is not the lighting kit, this is my uh, fabrication. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to jump off this one and go down into the net to the saucer pylon because I can't find those connections either. So, but it ended up looking pretty good so far. So these are gonna be all the windows. All right, so there was no L, so I had to go ahead and get um, one of the extras that I had again for my lighting kit. And I made the L, that's for the sensor dome. This is the one that actually I had thought that I had um, uh, I was lacking in my kit. And I had written to pull the lights and they sent me another one. And at the end I had found the, um, the L. The letter had fallen off and it was underneath. Anyway, here's the sensor dome. So it's coming together. Let's see what we got left. I still got to do the um, impulse engines. Um, the Spots will be coming from the top in the cell. Uh, excuse me, the top of the saucer section. So it's coming together. We'll move on to the next step, which is probably going to be N, and that would be the um, the impulse engines. Okay, so here's the update. Um, in order to put the ends, the uh, impulse engine lights in you can see one of the leads is missing off the ends, which is the impulse engines. I can't find the lights, the bulbs, and I can't find the part. Um, and both of them aren't gonna work because that's missing. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump off this, I'm gonna put the impulse engines on it, and then I'm gonna jump off that and I'm gonna put it into the saucer pylon. So that'll be, um, that should take care of a lot. And when it's all done, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, moving on to the, to the uh, saucer pylon. It really shouldn't be that bad. Like I said, he had painted the inside and the outside, and that's the color that he wanted. It's, so I wiped him down, cleaned off the dust, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the windows in, and I'll show you what that looks like when that's all set. All right, so what I needed to do <clears throat> is because I'm not going to be able to do the ends in the top saucer, I'm going to feed off the impulse engines and feed off, let's see, that would be off D, where G is on the circuit board, just to jump off it for the uh, impulse engines and I need to feed it down through the saucer pylon so those are lit. So, I'll glue the lights into place and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so the saucer pylon is all done. I glued it together. Um, you can see the strips that came with the kit are a little bit smaller, so they fit. Um, I actually had to move mine. It's a little bit up on top because of the, uh, well, there's not a lot of space and the ones I used are bigger. 
is a little bit of light leak, as you can see, but I'm just going to have to live with that. Um, the, the LED tape that I'm using is a little bit brighter than what um, came with the kit, and this is painted from him, and this is the way he intended to leave it, so I'm not going to mess it up. Anyway, the saucer pylon is done, and um, now I can jump these to the impulse engines and the primary hull. Okay, I'm ready to jump the saucer pylon wires to tap into the lights uh, for the impulse drive. But what I remembered from the kit that I had done, I had actually forgotten to put them in. So I'm going to use mine, um, the, the photo wedge pieces, and I'm going to put them in. I think I like the one with the circle in the middle. I kind of like that. So I'm going to put those in, and um, we're going to wire it. I got the impulse grills in. It's not really looking that great on the camera, but I'll try to focus it for you. But when it lights up, it'll look pretty cool. So let's move on. Okay, so here's what I did. Because, let's see, what there's one of these missing on what is that? N? Now the two ends on the circuit board are for the bulbs that show the um, the impulse drive. Now because those are damaged I wasn't able to use it so instead what I did was I had jumped off the lights and because there are parts missing for the saucer pylon to light that up what I did was I bypassed that and from the lights for the windows I put on this is going to be the impulse drive and that's going down in to the um, saucer pylon, so that was able to be lit. So I'm going to hot glue everything into place, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I hot glued the strip in place, and you can see it'll light up more than that, because that, the piece had that kind of connector piece, so I didn't want to cut that. So I figured the lights on the side will help with the windows. And you can see it's lighting up the impulse engines pretty nicely. So I'm going to glue the saucer pylon. I'll glue it from the top and I'll do it from the bottom as well. And um, we'll be able to connect the halves of the saucer section. And I'll show you what it looks like. When that's done, and I'm ready to uh, test the top saucer section. Okay, so I got the power supply coming from the other board. That's going to be in a secondary hull. We got the saucer pylon lit, we got the impulse engines lit, and we've got all the windows lit, and we got the sensor dome lit. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to attach the top to the bottom, and I'll show you what that looks like all lit up. All right, so I attached the top. All the circuits are in. I locked them into position. And even the ones that were damaged, I was able to, to jump it, get around it. So the saucer pylon, the impulse engines, both of the beacon lights are working. You can see up in the bridge. And you can see the, the lights that are on the sides of the bridge. And now we're ready to glue. So I can glue the top to the bottom and I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry. So let me give you an update. 
on uh, Joe's model. I ended up pretty much all the wiring for the primary hull is done. Um, there was a lot missing, like more than three quarters of it was missing. So I don't know if there's any anything hanging around the house, but the the duller lights is what came with the kit, and the bright lights are the lights that I had my light tape that I used, and I had to solder and make basically make the kit from scratch because it was uh, there's a lot missing, and the circuit board is damaged. So I had to bypass it to get the impulse engines to light, and the same thing with the saucer pylon. But I'm all set to glue this together and um, move on to the secondary hull. But I just figured I'd show you what it looks like so far.